During football season, it was Tebow time. Now that the NBA lockout has concluded and the season has commenced, Lynn's sanity has taken the nation by storm. Just one bite of the Smansky roll, it's easy to see why this is the oldest snack in San Marcos. For Bob Kidd Update, I'm Roland Garansley. Sundance, a specialty record store that has been in the San Marcos community since 1977, will soon be closing. Sundance sells CDs, DVDs, vinyls, and much more. April 1st will be the last day Sundance is open. Chris Blackman says Lynn is the real deal. I think that he could fit in there nice, and as long as that system's in place, he could um, stick around there for maybe the rest of his career. Not everyone is on the Lynn Sanity bandwagon, but Texas State student Xavier Gladstone says Lynn has a bright future in the NBA. A lot of people don't believe in Jeremy Lynn, but I can tell you he's, he's really great. The Nick point guard has outplayed and outscored NBA superstars like Darren Williams and Kobe Bryant and has played key roles and wins over several NBA teams. However, those aren't the only stats that are getting people's attention. The Harvard grad is the only American-born NBA player of Chinese or Taiwanese descent. Texas State student Jamie Rodriguez says Lin is an inspiration. Watching him tear it up in the NBA makes me want to play basketball. I'm usually a soccer guy, but, you know, when it comes to uh, having Asian pride, there's not much of it in the NBA. The Lynn Sanity continues tonight when the Knicks host the Cleveland Cavaliers. For Bobcat Update, I'm Roland Guernsway. Gill's Broiler is perhaps the oldest restaurant in San Marcos. Their charbroiled burgers and reasonable prices attract Texas State students as well as San Marcos locals. It's the Mansky Roll, however, that has made the restaurant famous nationwide. Longtime employee John Redding says he isn't surprised to see people from across the country come to Gill's to get their hands on one. It's not at all uncommon for us to get people from Oregon, people from Kansas, people from California, who come all the way to this town just for the role. In addition to that, uh, like most students at this university, LBJ was a big fan of the Mansky role, so when he became president, he ordered a shift over to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. The Mansky role, named after creators Roland and Ruth Mansky, is no ordinary cinnamon roll. Redding says the roll is 100% homemade with no artificial sweeteners or preservatives and has been made the same way since the 1940s. Texas State alum Cole Patterson says the Mansky roll is a no-brainer. You can't really go wrong when you see, see them, especially when you look behind the counter and you see all these rows and rows and rows of just goodness and tastiness and uh, they're, they're pretty awesome, yeah. Just one bite of this Mansky roll, it's easy to see why this is the oldest snack in San Marcos. For Bobcat Update, I'm Roland Garansley. Good call, Lauren. Behave yourself we're on spring break. Someone will be watching. An online survey conducted by Living Social says Americans tend to live up to a stereotype of being bad tourists. More than 5,000 people from five countries ranked Americans as worst behaved tourists. 4,000 of those actually were Americans, calling themselves the worst tourists. Canadians and Australians agreed, but Irish respondents said the British are the worst, while the British pointed to the Germans. Firefighters had their hands full after a wind gust caused a canopy at a local business to tip over on top of an SUV this afternoon. The canopy at a shop specializing in payday loans tipped over at the Hopkins and I-35 location. No one was hurt, but firefighters say the damage was pretty significant. Another canopy at the site will likely be torn down for safety reasons. More trouble for Southern cooking queen Paula Dean. The formal general manager of a restaurant owned by Dean claims she was sexually harassed. Lisa Jackson filed for a lawsuit yesterday. She worked for one of Dean's restaurants in Savannah, Georgia. Jackson claims during the five years she worked there, Dean's brother, Earl Ayers, made sexual comments to her every day and downloaded porn at work. Jackson also claims she wasn't paid as high as her male counterparts. A second radio station has pulled the plug on Rush Limbaugh's show. Pittsfield, Massachusetts radio station WBEC says Limbaugh's comments last week regarding Georgetown Law student Sandra Fluke were unacceptable after he called Fluke a, quote, slut after supporting health care coverage for contraception. Limbaugh has since apologized. It's been a century since the first person twist, licked, and dunked. The Oreo turns 100 this week. To celebrate, Kraft, the company that now owns Oreo, is releasing a limited edition cake version of the cream-filled sandwich cookies. Oreos are sold in 100 countries. The cookies even have a Facebook following with 25 million members. Not much of an Oreo person. I'm more on Team Chips Ahoy over here. Well, I must call you crazy because Oreos have to be my favorite cookie ever. I don't know. I think you're the crazy one. <laughs> That's it for today. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back tomorrow with another edition of Bobcat Update. See you later.